Sunni Muslims consider themselves followers of Islam's orthodox tradition, following the pure, uninfluenced faith taught by Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. The word Sunni comes from the term Sunnah, which refers to the teachings and practice of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, who in return was taught by Angel Gabriel, who learned the faith from God himself. The term Shia linguistically translates to mean party, sect, supporters, a group of similar minded people. The term Shia is an abbreviation for Shia to Ali, which signifies group or supporters of Ali. Shia was a political faction who claimed that the cousin and son-in-law of Prophet Muhammad should have led the Islamic community as the caliphate in place of Abu Bakr. Originally, this group of Ali's supporters known as Shia stood against the Umayyad's political party but remained purely Sunni in their theology and faith, unlike modern day Shia. Yet with the passing of years arose major doctrine and theological differences. The famous 12 Imams who Shia hold in the highest regard were Sunni in creed, not Shia. If Ali indeed was explicitly appointed by Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, as the Shia claim, then that would mean that Abu Bakr was appointed unjustly in the role of a caliph, also meaning that he disobeyed and went against the wishes of the Prophet, despite his role and his closest associate and dearest friend. Additionally, this move would imply that the companions who accepted Abu Bakr as the caliph went against the Prophet peace be upon him, despite earning a high rank in God's praise in the Holy Quran. Many of the beliefs of Shi'ism claim no basis in the religion of Islam. Shi'ism evolved from its role as a political sect supporting and favoring the leadership of Ali and his descendants, whom they label as Imams, over more qualified companions, to a holder of strange ideas foreign to Islam. Amongst the most significant difference in standing between Sunni and Shia is the fact that the mainstream Shia uphold the divinity of 12 Imams to which they ascribe powers, privileges and attributes that belong only to Allah the Glorious. Shia believe that these 12 Imams to be infallible and incapable of committing error. They believe that these 12 Imams are all knowledgeable, all powerful, perfect, possessing of supernatural powers and stand in control of the universe and all of creation. They believe that these Imams are superior to and hold a higher rank than the Prophets. Shia also direct many acts of worship to these Imams, ranging from supplications, sacrifices and seeking their aid. These acts contradict Islam's main teaching, which states that there is none worthy of worship and veneration except the one God, who stands in control of everything with no partners and is the only one that knows the unseen. The act of ascribing partners to Allah is the biggest sin in Islam and the only sin that would not be forgiven by God if one dies in that state without repenting. Indeed, he who associates others with Allah, Allah has forbidden him from paradise, and his refuge is the fire, and there are not for the wrongdoers any helpers. Quran 5.72 While Shia consider Ahlul Bayt, the family of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, above and beyond everyone else in a supernatural divine way, Sunnis only respect the Muslim and righteous of them, and do not ascribe any divine powers to them, as they were only human beings, and thus are unworthy of the worship and veneration owed to Allah alone. Another bizarre belief of the Shia is that they do not consider many of the Sahaba, the companions of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, to be true Muslims, including the famous Sahaba. They consider them defectors from the holds of Islam. Shia bear hate and animosity towards them, and even slander them. They claim that only seven of these companions stayed within the folds of Islam, with the rest qualifying as disbelievers or hypocrites. Shias reject the Sunnah, the tradition, teachings and practice of Prophet Muhammad, because the companions of the Prophet were the ones that passed down the teachings to the next generations. Sunnis on the other hand, respect and love all of Prophet's companions, including Ali and his two sons Hassan and Hussein, peace be upon them. The Holy Quran affirms the virtue and status of the companions of the Prophet, this owing to the fact that Allah the Glorious was pleased with them, as stated in the Holy Quran. Another major difference between Sunni and Shia beliefs lies in the Shia's claim that the Holy Quran of our time is deficient and has not been preserved properly. The Shia believe in a book called the Tablet of Fatima that is supposedly three times larger than the Holy Quran. They claim that this book was revealed to Fatima the daughter of the Prophet Muhammad after his death and references the upcoming Imams. The Shia believe that this book is with the Mahdi, who has been hiding for the past 900 years and will come forth to present its text at the end of times. 
They believe that the Mahdi is Ali himself. Sunnis, on the other hand, believe in the one and only Holy Quran, which was revealed to Prophet Muhammad as the last and final scripture to mankind. The same one that is read by hundreds of millions of Muslims around the globe, in which is stated the verbatim word of God and will never change. The Holy Quran states that God took it upon himself to preserve and safeguard his final book from any man-made modifications such as those that occurred in the previous books, the Gospel and the Torah. Indeed, it is we who send down the Qur'an, and indeed, we will be its guardian. Qur'an 15.9 These foreign